Hey South, it's Jessica with Rock on Jag, brought to you by Brutal Films for Jag TV. I'm here today with John from Seether. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. Um, being from South Africa, how did the band man manage to obtain interest from Wind Up Records and Land a Deal? Well, the band originally um, uh, was managed and, um, and organized by a gentleman back in South Africa by the name of Peter Lacey. And he worked for EA Sports Video Games, uh, I think for, from out of India, and actually uh, took on Sean and Dale and, and trying to organize a, a major record deal and, and signing the band and, and breaking out of South Africa, which ended up, um, I think it was Sony International, then found Wind Up in the United States. And so Sean and Dale relocated to the United States in um, 2001 and recorded Disclaimer. And uh, it was a three-piece at the time, which it, it is back to being a three-piece again. And the original drummer from uh, South Africa wasn't real keen on relocating to the United States. So he went back home, and so began the quest for a drummer. So uh, through several auditions and, and a few drummers, uh, I finally joined the band in 2003. So I've been with them soon, be eight years. How has the band evolved with each album release? Um, I think musically, we try to you know, uh, to improve, to become better, better songwriters, better musicians, you know, stronger and, and better at our craft. And uh, we were, b we've been very fortunate to work with a lot of great producers, and this recent one with uh, Brendan O'Brien, who's a legendary producer who's worked with the likes of Pearl Jam and Soundgarden and, and Stone Temple Pilots and some really great and diverse artists. Um, we had the pleasure of making this last album with him in Nashville, and I think he's really contributed to us taking it you know, to the next level. What song would you say best describes you as a band and would recommend to a new fan? I don't know. I think um, the newest song, the newest single, Tonight, is, is kind, of, uh, kind of a straight-ahead rock song. We're a straight-ahead rock band. I think we're, we're pretty diverse. We've run the gamut. We've had songs and singles like Broken, which was kind of a, a ballad uh, duet single that we had done with um, Amy Lee. And then we've had heavier stuff like Remedy and Fake It. Uh, so we're just a rock and roll band, a rock band. So I would say the newest album, if you wanted to, to take it, and tonight our newest single, I think is a pretty much straight ahead uh, class, you know, um, uh, Seether song. What is the songwriting process that Seether has for each song? I think uh, the nucleus of the band is obviously the three of us. I think musically, this last album, we all worked together in a, a rehearsal space and would really just kind of knock around ideas, putting songs together. And then, of course, Sean does all the lyrics and vocal melodies himself. But I would say musically, we all have a lot of input, um, a lot of freedom. We, we, you know, we're really kind of free to do whatever we want to interpret you know, um, the song however we feel we want to and as a drummer me personally I can just kind of do whatever I want and and kind of interject my style and my personality into the songs and uh, and like I said and then Sean obviously does all the lyrics and melodies what are some of the most memorable tour dates that you've had so far we've had a lot of, of great I mean obviously we've been a band for over 10 years and so we've toured the world the band like you mentioned is being from South Africa we've gone back there and have done shows with Metallica, and they have these huge stadiums back there for rugby and, and just recently the World Cup. And so we had the you know dream come true of kind of opening for our heroes, Metallica, there uh, several years back. And it's and just recently in Halifax, Nova Scotia, they had never played there. We had done a show with them just recently as of July. And it's pretty surreal to be on stage and then look over and have James Hetfield or Lars, you know, like watching you play, these guys that you you know, uh, the, the heroes to you because it's, you know, we're fans too. We're a fan of music and a fan of these bands and can easily just kind of turn into these little kids again when you see these guys, uh, you know, sitting right there watching you, you know, doing your thing. So it's been pretty surreal. But we've been very fortunate. We toured with a lot of great bands. Nickelback, we toured with Audio Slave, uh, you know, at Madison Square Garden. We did a show with them when we toured with them back in 2005. So we've had a lot of great times. But I think for me as a music fan, some of my best memories have been opening for these 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 bands that we really admire, you know. What are some of the challenges that y'all have had to overcome as a band and how do you get through those times? I think the the biggest one is is being away from home, you know. I personally have two boys and a uh, family back home and so touring unfortunately takes you away for long extended periods of time and you really miss your family and uh, I think for all of us we all have, you know have significant others and families that we spend a great deal of time away 
we're fortunate that we're a band that we get along <laughs> and we like each other and the three of us live in this little space right here that you're we, you know you're a part of right now and um, so we, we were also kind of like a secondary family we spend a lot of time with each other so we kind of try to support each other through those times but being away from home and family I think is the toughest how do you feel that the playing field for the music industry has changed and how have y'all been able to adapt to it I think uh, slowly but surely. I mean, in the time since our last album, which was Finding Beauty, you know, four and a half years ago, uh, the social networking and everything has really come into play. So um, it's kind of out of character for us to sort of post daily goings-ons or taking photos or whatever. But I think it's great to be able to interact with fans sort of instantly there via Facebook or Twitter. And But that's been kind of a new change for us. You know, we, we, we do the music. We take the music seriously. We don't take ourselves that seriously. But um, sometimes it's kind of hard to get us out of our shells to kind of just, y y you know, I don't know, kind of have that, that inner action. So that's kind of a new twist for us. But uh, as far as putting out music, recording, creating music, going out on tour, nothing's really changed that much for us. It's still the same way it's been. And that's the fun part of all this is getting to get on stage and, and play the music live, you know. What are your plans after a poor festival? I think uh, our, uh, our plans for the first half of next year will be Europe. We haven't been back to Europe uh, in a long time, so we're, we're hope hopeful that a tour will be put together that will be going overseas. We have a, uh, a couple of shows in South Africa coming up in December. Uh, but next year I think we're going to spend the hopefully the first half of the year overseas, kind of revisiting some places we haven't been in four or five years. And, uh, and uh, you know, Europe's just great, and mm -hmm. we, we've done a lot of the summer festivals, but it's been, like I said, a few years since we've been back, so kind of looking forward to um, doing a little touring overseas, and I'm sure hopefully by summer, late summer or fall next year, we'll be back doing a headline tour here in the States. What is some advice that you would have for students that are trying to make it in the music industry? Don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. It, it takes a, it's a lot of hard work, you know. I'd love to tell you it happens overnight, but it doesn't. You know, you really have to love what you do, and you have to be really passionate and dedicated about it, because you're going to hear a million no's before you hear one yes, you know. This hasn't been my first band, and uh, it, it takes a lot, uh, you know, of hard work and determination. It's really, it's not easy. So if you're, you're, you're set in your ways, and you're determined, and uh, you feel you're talented and, and can push through, then by all means, go for it, you know. It takes a lot of sacrifice, and uh, uh, I guess that's why not everybody does this, you know. Right, thank you so much for talking yeah, to us. thank you for having me.